to the California State University, San Bernardino, Jack H. Brown College of Business and Public Administration, May 2024 Commencement Ceremony. I'm Dr. Anna Nee, Associate Dean of the College and the Grand Marshal today. Out of respect for our graduates and in recognition of the importance of the ceremony, we ask that all of you please silence your cell phone and remain in attendance through the completion of the ceremony. Thank you for your cooperation. To begin the commencement ceremony, will the class of 2024 please come forward?
graduates, on your seats, you found a copy of this year's commemorative commencement program. Please remember to take it with you as you leave today's ceremony. Will the class of 2024 please rise for the faculty and remain standing for the platform party? Will the faculty please come forward? The bearer of the maze is Dr. Francisca Baer, professor in the Department of Accounting and Finance. Will the bearer of the maze and the platform party members please come forward? President Morales, Provost Mohammed, Dean Thomas Gomez Arias, honored guests and graduates. The 57th spring commencement of the Jack H. Brown College of Business and Public Administration at California State University San Bernardino is hereby conveyed. Will you please, will you please remain standing and join in singing of our national anthem performed by CSUSB student Ariana Ruiz.
You may be seated. Well, good evening, everyone. Welcome to this celebration of the success of our students and our faculty. My name is Rafiq Mohammed, and I have the pleasure of serving as the Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs here at California State University, San Bernardino. Before we begin, I would like to take a moment to recognize our delightful mace bearer, Dr. Francisca Beer. Would you please stand? <laughs> Dr. Francisca M. Beer is the Associate Dean and Director of the Office of Academic Equity in the Jack H. Brown College. With extensive administrative experience, she has previously served as Director, Assistant Dean, Associate Dean, and Interim Dean of Graduate Studies. As a professor of finance, Dr. Beer holds a PhD in finance, a graduate degree in computer science, and a master's in commercial engineering. In her role as the associate dean for the Office of Academic Equity, she has initiated several programs aimed at student success and empowerment. Furthermore, as the founding director of the Office of Student Research, Dr. Beer has facilitated student engagement in scholarly and creative activities. She takes great pleasure in teaching and providing services to the university, a commitment that has been recognized through several awards for her excellence in teaching and outstanding service contributions. Her innovative practices in improving student success earned her the CSUSB Faculty Innovation and Leadership Award in 2018. In October 2022, she was honored with the inaugural 2022 Community Engaged Scholarship Lifetime Achievement Award. And a little known fact, uh, starting striker for the Belgian national football team back in the day. All right, I made that one up. Thank you, Dr. Beer. We are honored to have you as our Mace Bearer today. Today is a joyous occasion for our graduates, their families and friends. Class of 2024, today you joined another distinguished group, the alumni of California State University San Bernardino. It is now my pleasure to recognize the distinguished members of the platform party seated behind me and ask them to stand as they are introduced. Please hold your applause until all are introduced. Representing the community, Ms. Dia Poole, Honorary Doctor of Humane Letters recipient. Representing the university, CSU alumni trustee, Larry L. Adamson. Dr. Tomas D. Morales, President. From the Jack H. Brown College of Business and Public Administration, Dr. Tomas Gomez Arias, Dean, Dr. Anna Nee, Associate Dean and Grand Marshal, the aforementioned Dr. Francisca Beer, Professor and Bearer of the Mace, and representing the university community, Dr. Paz Oliveras, Vice President for Student Affairs, Vice President for Human Resources, Robin Phillips, Dr. Samuel Sudaker, Vice President for Finance, Technology and Operations, Dr. John Binkley, Associate Vice President and Dean for the College of Extended and Global Education, Dr. Kelly Campbell, Vice Provost for Academic Affairs, Dr. Kevin Grisham, Interim Associate Vice Provost for Faculty Affairs and Development, Dr. Edna Martinez, Associate Vice President and Administrator in Charge of the Palm Desert Campus, Dr. David Maynard, Interim Associate Vice President for Enrollment Management, and <laughs> CSUSB Philanthropic Foundation Board Chair, William Stevenson, CSUSB Philanthropic Board Vice Chair Nefertiti Long, and of course your one, your only ASI Vice President, excuse me, President, I just demoted him, and he is actually your ASI President, Carson Fajardo. It now gives me great pleasure to introduce someone who needs no introduction to you, but to them he may the Dean of the Jack H. Brown College and uh, best regalia uh, candidate, uh, Tomas Gomez Arias. Good evening, everyone. This has been a good year for the Jack H. Brown College of Business and Public Administration. It has been good because of you, our new graduates, 
and the faculty and staff working with you along your educational journey to this point and beyond. Of course, I'm the dean and I would say that, wouldn't I? But I'm not the only one, like the song said. The Princeton Review has once again listed the Jack H. Brown College among the best for its business, MBA, and entrepreneurial programs. We were listed among the best on-campus MBA programs, the 32nd best online MBA program in the nation, among the top in California, and first in the state among public universities. Our Masters of Science in Entrepreneurship was ranked 38th globally. CEO Magazine listed our MBA as a tier one program globally. And why? Clear evidence of the impact of our education on career progression, networking opportunities, personal development, and salary increases. I also want to mention that Insight into Diversity magazine has recognized the programs of the Office of Academic Equity at the Jack H. Brown College of Business and Public Administration, led by Professor Baer, especially the Economy and the Voice programs. This recognition is given to institutions that actively support and guide underrepresented students towards careers in business. We do hold ourselves to a high standard and are committed to continuous improvement. This year, the college completed a five-year cycle of AACSB accreditation, self-study, and site visit, as well as a seven-year cycle of NASPA MPA program accreditation, self-study, and site visit. We have also been busy starting things. We launched the Masters of Science in Business and Data Analytics in fall 2023. Our Inland Empire Center for Entrepreneurship launched two entrepreneurial resource centers in San Bernardino and Temecula that serve as easily accessible hubs for small business support services that bring together a wide range of entrepreneurial support organizations to provide training, technical assistance, and access to resources for small business owners and entrepreneurs. And they took our, the management of the Palm Desert iHub, a regional catalyst for startups. Our cybersecurity center received almost a million dollars in federal funds to launch the Workforce Tech Hub project, providing workspace on campus for students, apprentices, and partners to collaborate supporting students who work while they go to school. And CSUSB is leading, with Fresno State and San Jose State, the With Cyber CSU initiative. This forward-thinking initiative involving the whole California State University system is designed to propel students into cybersecurity careers from kindergarten to PhD and address the nation's shortfall of qualified professionals in the field. Our students, in fact, many of you have participated in plenty of opportunities to interact with employers and get jobs. From Meet the Firms, hosted by the Accounting Association, Beta Alpha Psi and the Financial Man Management Association, both in San Bernardino and the Palm Desert campuses, to our Meet the Government event, to our JSBC Career Fair, to the meeting of our Scholarship for Service students meetings with federal agencies in Washington, D.C. Dozens of employers and hundreds of students participated in these events. The college continues offering the Volunteer Income Tax Assistance Program to disadvantaged communities. 29 students participated in this community service and helped over 100 families or individuals in our community in filing tax returns and getting over $100,000 in refunds. Those opportunities for hands-on experience organizing the Coyotes Comedy Club, uh, the comedy show, or our Springs Golf Classic, visiting the operations of the Palm Desert Airport or the Yamaha Casino, visiting the New York Restaurant Show, presenting their ideas for new ventures at the Garner Hall Student Pitch Competition, managing the student run investment funds, participating in the Society for Human Resources or, uh, or the International Collegiate Business Strategy Competitions, or the Sandstone Startup Competition, 
and winning in all of them. By the way, congratulations to all of you who participated and won. Those are all part of what makes the Jack H. Brown College education unique. As we continue getting ready for a changing future, thanks to the work of our faculty and staff, many of them present here today, many in the front rows, but some of them helping behind the scenes, and you have seen them outside. They do deserve an applause. For example, Professor Curtis Trami and Nessler are already incorporating artificial intelligence, or AI, in their courses. And our faculty research continues to grow in quality and impact. Congratulations to all of you for your achievements. And thank you. You are our future. And at a time when the future seems so uncertain, I know our future is in good hands, because it is in good hands. It is in your hands. Thank you all. And with that, please allow me to introduce President Tomas D. Morales, fourth president of California State University, San Bernardino. Good evening. On behalf of California State University, San Bernardino, I welcome you to this year's spring commencement ceremony. Congratulations to the class of 2024. All, all here join you in celebrating this landmark achievement. This is your moment. Graduates, as you commemorate this meaningful accomplishment, Take time to remember what it took to realize it. To be here today, you have proven you can adapt, overcome, and succeed. But never forget that your success was made possible by the support of those closest to you, many who are here in the audience as well as others unable to attend. With all the parents, family members, relatives, spouses and friends of our graduates, please stand. Graduates, please recognize these significant people who have given you their encouragement, their understanding, and their love. Oh, I feel the love in this room. I know, I know many here are the first in their families to earn a college degree, breaking a barrier and setting themselves up as role models for siblings, relatives, and future generations. With all those graduates who are the first in their family to receive a four-year degree, a master's degree, please stand and be recognized.
And I want to take a moment to extend my heartfelt appreciation to our world-class, outstanding faculty who have taught and mentored you through your years at CSUSB, and also our exemplary staff who, regardless of their specific role on campus, are dedicated first and foremost to your success. Let's have them stand so we can tell them all thank you. Graduates, today I want to talk with you about the value of the degree that you have earned, and then about the alumni who have preceded you and who can light the way towards your own future achievements. Have any of you heard one of these statements lately? Young people don't have to get a college degree or a college degree don't retain the value they once had in the past, or it's not necessary to have a college degree to move to the middle class. As you all sit here today waiting for the words that will officially confer on you the degree you have spent years of effort and dedication to achieve, I hope you will know to answer back the next time you hear them a resounding no. Because a college degree still carries with it both an individual good and a societal or social good. What do I mean by that? First know that the gap between earnings of those with a college degree and those without has widened over time, according to P the Pew Research Organization. In addition, they report that the unemployment rate is lower for college graduates and that the gap widened as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. We also know that a baccalaureate degree holders are healthier live longer, vote at higher rates, a key requirement to maintain a healthy democracy, and are more civically engaged in general. In fact, one study from this January stated that each additional year of education reduces risk of death by about 2%. The benefit of an 18-year education are comparable to eating enough vegetables in your diet. <laughs> this doesn't mean you can stop eating your vegetables, though. More education leads to increased resources that can help a person build a healthy lifestyle. All of those individual goods spill over into societal goods, and as they help to build stronger, healthier, more vibrant, and sustainable communities. Your impact as a new degree holders is creating a marked structural difference right here in the Inland Empire. You know that college-going rates in the IE are among the lowest in California. In fact, one of the lowest in the United States. According to Complete College America, for every 1,000 high school freshmen in the region, only 151 will complete a baccalaureate degree at a California public university, compared to 225 high school freshmen statewide. Furthermore, less than 30% of adults in the two-county area have an associate's degree or higher compared to 38 to 48 percent of adults in adjacent Los Angeles and Orange counties. 
For one of the most populous, populous regions of California, this is unacceptable. As the organization Growing Inland Achievement tells us, projected workforce demands for inland students with baccalaureate degrees will outweigh our labor supply by two times in the next few years. We know that attracting entrepreneurs and businesses who are looking for educated employees depends on having an educated workforce available in the region. Have you ever wondered whether you are making a difference? You are, right here, right now, and for the future. So what does it mean to be a CSUSB graduate? Let's look at some of your fellow Coyotes who graduated in past years for that information. First of all, before today, there were 124,609 CSUSB alumni worldwide. You just made that number go up. Over 4,000 alumni live outside the United States in 109 different countries. Just under 100,000 or 79% of those alumni live in California. Over 82,000 are right here in the Inland Empire. 660 or 33% of CSUSB faculty and staff are fellow alumni. They work at their alma mater every day, transforming lives, transforming families, and transforming the communities where our students are from. So where do our alumni work? So in round figures, 30% are in private industry or business, 20% are in state or local government, 20% are in elementary or secondary education, and 10% are in post-secondary education. As you can see, your fellow Coyote alumni are indeed defining the future wherever they now live, and especially right here in the IE and in our state of California. But those poor prints are making a mark around the world as well. Who are some of our alums? Let me introduce you to a small handful. Paul Granillo, President and CEO of the Inland Empire Economic Partnership, an organization of business and civic leaders whose mission it is to continue developing the Inland Empire, developing the workforce and economic development of our region. Ellen Weiser, an English major, a former educator, an entrepreneur, and a philanthropist, is not only this year's inaugural CSUSB Distinguished Alumna, she is also an honorary degree recipient. Dia Poole, a business major, undergraduate who has spent a lifetime in service to the people of California through her work in state government and who has also been an exemplary support of the CSU for many years is our other honorary degree recipient. Her MA is also from CSUSB in Communication Studies. A group of recent graduates from the Department of Physics and Astronomy turned the skills they learned updating an old telescope during the pandemic so that it was robotic into being hired by companies like Plane Wave, Space Systems, North, Northrop Grumman. Mary Jane McCoy, who graduated with a history degree, has worked as a teacher and principal. While she now resides in Spokane, Washington, she remains passionately committed to organizations in San Bernardino that focus on domestic violence, youth homelessness, and the elderly. She was awarded the College of Social and Behavioral Science inaugural Poor Print Award this year. 
a holder of multiple degrees from the Watson College and, and a currently enrolled doctoral student, Juan Carlos Luna, is approaching nearly 20 years as an educator and teaches fifth grade at Eubanks Elementary in the Rialto United School District. He is an outspoken advocate for ending childhood hunger in the classroom and works closely with the nonprofit organization No Kid Hungry. He was awarded the Watson's College inaugural Poor Print Award this year. And both county superintendents of education are alumni, Ted Alejandre in San Bernardino and Edwin Gomez in Riverside. I know that you, like these alumni, will be building fulfilling lives that encompass community, giving back and setting and achieving, achieving personal goals just like you have here. In fact, a member of last year's class of 2023, a graduate of the Palm Desert campus, is already making waves. Psychology major Abby Carter has made it to the final three of American Idol. Can we all give Abby a huge round of applause and send her off to the final knowing she has the support of all her fellow Coyotes. Tune in tomorrow uh, for American Idol. Now go out and pursue the future which is not only yours, but also the future for those around you. Participate, engage, and support the marvelous diversity that enriches our nation. I believe in you, graduates. Let's do this. Congratulations. We now begin with our honorary degree presentation. I invite Larry Adamson, Adamson, alumni chair of the CSU Board of Trustees, to say a few words on behalf of the California State University. Thank you, President Morales. In the world of higher education, there is no more prestigious award than the granting of an honorary degree. This is not something to which you can apply. You do not get to nominate yourself. In fact, you will never know that you were nominated until after the Board of Trustees makes a confidential determination. The review process is complex, it's lengthy, and it is rigorous. A nominee and their qualifications are challenged and reviewed multiple times, both at the campus with reviews by the Faculty Senate and by the Chancellor's Office. It is then further reviewed by a committee of the Board of Trustees and ultimately brought to the full board. To even be considered, the trustees' criteria are very stringent. First, to recognize inspirational character, excellence, and extraordinary achievement in significant areas of human endeavor that reflect the objectives and ideals of the California State University. Secondly, to honor materials and outstanding service of the California State University collectively and to individual campuses the state of California, the United States, or to humanity at large. Third, to recognize individuals whose lives, conduct, and significant achievements serve as examples of the California State University's aspirations for a diverse student body. In short, we are extremely selective as we choose the best of the best amongst us. We honor just such an individual today. President Morales, would you share the podium with me now?
respondía día es pool, has spent a career in public service to the people of California, serving in all three branches of our state's government. She has combined that work along with volunteer service on the CSU Statewide Alumni Council, where she has twice led as president. She was named Cal State San Bernardino's Alumni Advocate of the Year in 2008. Ms. Poole credits her CSUSB bachelor's degree earned as a non-traditional student for opening opportunities for meaningful state-level public service. Her acceptance into the prestigious California Capital Fellows Program in Sacramento launched her career in California government. She was a highly regarded senior policy consultant to two of the state's assemblies presiding, presiding leaders. She received the governor's appointment to deputy director of public affairs for the Department of Fair Employment and Housing, the largest state civil rights agency in the nation. Ms. Poole's state service culminated as senior legislative advocate for the Judicial Council's Office of Government Affairs. Her efforts were particularly significant for the Inland Empire, where the Superior Court of San Bernardino and Riverside counties are the most under-resourced in the state. Ms. Poole's volunteer service is equally impressive. She is known throughout the CSU system as a well-respected alumna whose unwavering voluntary, uh, volunteer leadership for more than 20 years has helped to strengthen the CSU degree, increase state and federal investments in students and academic programs, and improve graduation rates. Her record of extraordinary volunteer leadership for the betterment of her own alma mater and its students is extensive. Underrepresented students often lack accomplished professional role models, which make her involvement as an alumna, professor for a day, a panelist for the President's Scholars Leadership Symposium, and her workshops across disciplines to encourage students to apply for the competitive California Capitals Fellows Program, especially impactful. As a member, of the CSUSB Philanthropic Foundation's Board Advocacy Committee. Ms. Poole joins the campus delegation annually in Sacramento and often in Washington, D.C. Her personal philanthropic support to the university is demonstrated by her legacy or a state gift to CSUSB. Ms. Poole is a two-time CSUSB graduate with a BA in Business Administration and Information Management, 1990, and an MA in Communication Studies in 2023. I now invite Trustee Adamson back to the podium to read the citation. I would now like to read the citation that accompanies the degree we are about to confer. In recognition of her accomplishments and extensive contribution to the university and to the community, the Board of Trustees of the California State University and California State University San Bernardino are proud to confer upon Dia Pool the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. At this time, I invite Ms. Poole to say a few words.
I will be brief. To President Morales, CSU Board of Trustees and nominators, members of the platform party, fellow graduates, alumni, my family, and esteemed guests of the Jack H. Brown College of Business and Public Administration, I deeply appreciate this opportunity to personally thank you. Tonight I am receiving an honorary degree, but the honor is really all mine. It has been my honor to earn two degrees and to serve on Cal State San Bernardino's Alumni Association Board. It has been my honor to represent this campus and to lead our statewide CSU alumni governing body. And it has been my honor to serve the people of the Inland Empire and the state of California as an alumna of CSUSB. To my soon-to-be fellow alumni seated in front of me, who are being awarded degrees tonight. Anytime you give back to the university, it is a testimony of how much you value the effort you put into your academic work, how much you appreciate the administrators, faculty, staff who helped you in your journey, and how committed you are to improving your community. Your family, friends, employers and communities will be watching to see the value of your CSUSB degree. They won't only see it in the job you get or the career you pursue. They won't only see it in how much you earn or how many promotions you get. And they won't only see it in the social status you attain. They will see the value of your CSUSB degree reflected in what they see you do to support the next generation of students coming behind you, in how you willingly and generously stay active and engaged with your fellow alumni, students, faculty, and your department, and in witnessing the time, talent, and treasure you contribute. I challenge you all tonight, my soon-to-be alumni, to look for the value of your CSU degree in the mirror. Look for what you can do to transform someone else's life through your dedicated service. President Morales, I humbly accept this degree on behalf of all Coyote alumni and the over four million alumni of the California State University who give back through service to humanity. It has been my honor Thank you and go Yotes. Congratulations again, Dr. Poole. Uh, you, you, I mean this sincerely, you embody everything that we ought to stand for and that we try to stand for here at CSUSB and throughout the CSU, so thank you for all that you do. Well, we are now ready for the conferral of our master's degree. All right, all right. Will the candidates for the master's degree please rise? President Morales, as provost and vice president for academic affairs and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I have the honor to present these candidates who are deemed worthy of this distinction for the award of the master's degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of the California State University, I confer upon those of you who have completed the requirements the master's degree. Congratulations.
Will the candidates for the master's degree please be seated until directed to come forward by the marshals. Marshals, let's begin. Latoya D. Courtney. Q. Antran. Stephanie Alvarado. Ruben Rodriguez. Noah R. Ham. Carlos H. Hernandez. Jada D. Maniati. Danny Yarber. James P. Chavez. Oh, thank you. Mona Varzande. Ivan Martinez Ramos. <laughs> Ronaldo B. Paulo. Carolina Carlos. Jacob M. Rossi. Talia Reed. Julianne L. Lim. Derek S. Sweem. Sirenia Amador. Lily C. Flores. Tatiana D. Wright. Tahera Sheikh. Janelle A. Gonzalez. Lily McDonald. Annabelle Broderick. Pala Gapop. Sarah Kell. Jessica V. Overton. Iman Al Bukhari. Jacqueline Troyne V. Lobos. Amaya L. Brown. Heidi Flores. David Leal. Giovanni Barraza. Zari A. Session. Yareli J. Chavez Sanchez. Estefania Felix. Alicia R. Beal. Chris Bechtel Cotter. Vanessa Lynette and Roland. Amanda S. Gavins. 
Alejandro Cruz. Laura Carrizales. Emma Lima Zumdar. Esther Artino. Andrew Glenn. Rosemarie Calzansi. Mitzi V. Martinez Flores. Arlene Wynn. Joshua I. Sanchez. Victor Torres. Marina Kamel. Andrew J. Malara. Randy S. Martin. Rosanna Gomez Salcedo. Emmanuel Martinez. Kimberly P. Gonzalez. Brianna Flores. Diana Guijaro. Christine Johnson. Peggy L. Lemus. Lizette Pineda. Christian A. Aguilar. Umar Hussein. Diana A. Nieto Godinez. Hector J. Reyes. Michael A. Ortega. Satnam Singh. Jeffrey F. Escher. Dijon T. Brown. Marlon Long. Devin L. Mitchell. Eduardo Garcia, Jr. Olati Lewasi Oshifeso. Ikemefuna Agubata. Aldo E. Ornelas. Jie Ping Mei. Roxana Marcial. Eva E. Brown. Tiana Melendez. Jyoti Swarup Chava. Chirag Pandey. Viridiana Espinoza. Prasant Reddy Gouda. Jasmine E. Zuniga. Bavish S. Balsara. Bianca M. Serrano. Manikanta Gatu. Angel B. Moreno Morcio. Shakira Parveen. Zachary E. Rogers. Kruti Shek. Olayinka R. Owashani. Sai Charan Pesaru. Sri Latha Pravalika Alapati. Sakshi Nakashe. Christina E. Ruiz. Sidra Tehaniyad. Lauren M. T. Harina. Tanika M. Hughes. Karina N. Mayoral. Akshara Priya Petty. 
Tatiana M. Russell. Shaka Gazarian. Veronica Corral. Christopher J. Moy. Akman A. Patel. Jonathan G. Mardoyan. Awobalem A. George. Eduardo Soto Orozco. Ethan R. White. Tatiana J. Jackson. Jacqueline G. Jones. Enma M. Mora Ramirez. Tanya Haurigi. Oh, so Fanny K. Canales. Jasmine L. Lopez. Jariah Huey. Emily Ramirez. James Colbath. Anna S. Parada. All right, let's give it up one more time for the master's degree recipients. I would like to now recognize three groups of graduates who have maintained a particular record of academic excellence. The first group includes those students who have achieved a cumulative grade point average of 3.5 to 3.74. They are wearing maroon cords. Will the students graduating cum laude please stand and be recognized? Nicely done. The second group includes those students who've achieved a cumulative grade point average of 3.75 to 3.89. They are wearing gold cords. Will the students who are graduating magna cum laude please stand and be recognized. Fortunately, there's no such thing as competition in business, uh, for if there were, these people might, you know. Anyway, the final group includes those students who've achieved a cumulative grade point average of 3.9 to 4.0. They are wearing maroon and gold cords. Will the students graduating summa cum laude please stand and be recognized? That is fantastic. There's one last group that we want to recognize. Would the students who are wearing the blue and silver spirit cords please stand? All right, don't be shy, don't be shy. We're going to brag about y'all for a second. These individuals have shown their coyote pride by supporting scholarships for, for current students and for future alumni Thank you very much for your generosity. 
You may be seated. Now, this is the last of five commencement ceremonies that we've had. And these are the last degrees that we're going to award this year. So I expect the room to get really, really pumped. All right. And if not, we're just not going to give you your degrees. OK? So here we go. The bachelor's degree will now be awarded. Will the candidates please rise? Yes. All right. It's one of those moments where you wish security didn't take the air horns. President Morales, upon the recommendation of the faculty, I have the honor to present these candidates who are deemed worthy of this distinction for the award of the bachelor's degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of the California State University, I confer upon those of you who have met the requirements the bachelor's degree. Please change your tassel from right to left, and congratulations. Okay, will the candidates please be seated until directed to come forward by the marshals. We respectfully request that parents, friends, and students remain in their seats until the end of the ceremony as a courtesy to the graduates who have not yet received their diplomas. Marshals, please begin. Jacob E. Estrada. Edgar Baena. Mohammed E. Al Hodethi. John B. Andrade. Elizabeth Gant. Claudia Viegas Rios. Laura Pankiewicz. Aron E. Adoma. Yarleni Contreras Tolosa. David Castaneda. Magali Gerbasio Aguilar. Janine Gonzalez. Oralis Renteria Lara. Jasmine Vazquez. Alexis M. Cruz. Patricia Martinez. Monica Hernandez. Elizabeth D. Porch. Jocelyn Paz. Priancy S. Ahir Ahir. Leah Howard. Dylan M. Duthaller. Michelle Munoz Martinez. Victor H. Zaragoza. Aliyah Martinez. Eileen Martinez. Emily M. Velazquez. Jalen E. Martin. Omar Lopez Rosas. Michelle Ramirez. Christopher C. Sierra Tillery. Kevin Mendoza. 
Kaj A. Miranda. Cole S. Webb. Samuel Moreno. Leslie I. Velazquez Cerda. Joseph Talavera. Fernando Barajas. Allison K. Garcia. Daniel Gomez. Jasmine Chavaria. Alexia G. Taruno. Michelle Estianda. Jordan R. Willis. Yancy Barrios. Jimena Mosquera Nodal. Liana Marty Rosian. Christopher E. Lewinog. Oscar V. Oriana Buiza. Ryan Gannon. Santiago A. Tipola. Rafael T. Anguiano. Olivia G. Lee. Marcos F. Rubio. Luis E. Vargas. Christian Ramirez. Rhiannon R. Ortiz. Leila R. Romero. Raquel Robb. Maricela V. Cabral. Kaylee Lord. Angelica R. Rangel. Astrid Moctezuma. McKinley J. Donahue. Linda M. Quintero. Brandon L. Coke. Leslie S. Ruiz. Anthony B. Cook. Troy N. Temink. Jesus Razo Cabeza. Judith Sandoval. Jessica S. Zepeda. Noemi Gomez. Madison P. Settle. Patrick A. Mirabella. Michael A. Tyndall. Carla O. Costanza. Deshaun N. Thomas. Ileana J. Quintero. Matthew West. Hassan K. Albuanian. Takuto Katoka. Antonio Meza Rodriguez. Shannon N. Galliano. Marissa M. Morales. Alexandra Zamudio Lopez. Fidel A. Payan Benitez. Austin R. Emerson. Destiny X. Ramos. Rihanna M. Hasu. Abraham Garcia. Yan Ma. Alvaro Palacios. Chris A. Lopez. Kevin A. Padilla. Jasmine M. Baena. Yesenia G. Mendez. Genevieve H. Ramirez. Elizabeth R. Hemsey. Corbin D. Appis. Tran L. Pham. Alexander Ortega. Sabrina Leon Andrade. Eduardo D. Vega. Williams F. Cabrera Mendoza. Giselle Perez. Javier H. Montes. Laura E. Niagu. Alexia Ibarra. Deshaun R. Jackson. Sofia G. Ruiz Plasencia. Kimberly Rico. Patrick Sankey. Andres Cardenas. 
Amy M. Reyes. Zi Ming Wang. Alyssa Alba Santiago. Kenya Medel Negrete. Graciela Guerra. Stacy M. Gonzalez Manzano. Parwinder Kaur. Cecilia Carbajal. Caitlin M. Hurtado. Daniel A. Macias. Vanessa Mata. Liliana Mosqueda. Luis Shala. Lajane D. Timmons. Oscar L. Lopez Blandin. Cesar Covarrubias. Aisleen Howdigy. Eric C. Baker. Rachel Rios. Rain McCartney. Evania Campa. Elijah J. Moyeda. Shade J. Harper. Kayla C. Garduno. Karina Mejia. Daryl M. Ruiz. Alyssa M. Gonzalez. Dulce M. Pompa. Juan D. Mercado. Jordan P. Hand. Nehemiah Javed. Destiny A. Soto Ramirez. Luis F. Vazquez. Bashir R. Saade. David M. Ellis. Erica Coronado. Heather M. Uribe. Carla J. Oriza. Jennifer Renteria. Theodore A. Taylor. Gabriel Hernandez. Julianne M. Austria. Alondra G. Rivas. Leslie J. Miranda Miranda. Kyle A. Malaluin. Yatzil Gutierrez Nova. Christian J. McDonald. Gianna Marie U. Garcia. Milad I. Ayub. Elizabeth Carballo Mendez. Tanvir Singh. Alejandra P. Macias Gomez. Russell G. Holguin. Jonathan Ruiz Campos. Michael Ramirez. Guadalupe Patino Orozco. Stephen A. Hernandez. Savannah C. Diaz. Jorge M. Martinez. Cassandra G. Lopez. Sylvia E. Lugardo. Aranza E. Orozco. Jasmine Herrera. Aureli Aguilera Otega. Shaquela Harris. Isaiah M. Santos. Jia Dong Yu. Juan Martinez. Robert A. Sales. Christian Quinones. Javier I. Nunez. Jesse A. Ramos. Janet Arias. James M. Nava. Jessica Pulido Rodriguez. Deshaun Bell. Jessica J. Rosas. Miles Z. Morel. Nicole K. Tejera Velasco. Garrett F. Macias. Mishka Nuri. Samantha L. Smith. Brenda Gaetan. Sabrina Inkatabong. Brenda Landa. 
Stephanie Zambrano Aguayu. Edgardo J. Aguilar. Gabriela Rangel. Crystal Rivera. Jacqueline Cano. Lucero Verdugo. Julian Ortiz. Melanie R. Suarez. Sloane Swafford. Zuheri Ortu Siastige. Alejandra Rodriguez. America Aguilar. Alexandra Nava Tapia. Areli Y. Garcia Tostado. Maria F. Torres Sanchez. Kylie F. Corsillo. Marisol Papoca Mora. Kaya E. Parrish. Adam Hoshke. Nicole M. Fuentes. Jose Gomez. Christopher L. Renshaw. Ivan T. Herrera Valentin. Julio C. Munoz Hernandez. Ivan D. Elorza. Estefan A. Lugo. Emmanuel Mandujano. Jonathan A. Corona. Viviana J. Armendariz. Paul D. Allen II. Jose A. Gutierrez. Cesar A. Estrella Chavez. Pedro Tapia. Paula A. Valdez. Juan M. Gonzalez. Le Jun Ma. Cody S. Campbell. Daisy Ramirez. Emma D. Spiker. Ariana Candelaria. Isaiah A. Lopez. Juan D. Boroso Torres. Gabriel A. Morales. Brigido Rodriguez. Kaylin Salafiu. And Alicia C. Martinez. Paola Rios. Samuel J. Chavez. Natalie C. Gutierrez. Edgar A. Hernandez. Ambrosio Hernandez. Herman W. Steele. Raymond B. Conde. Victor M. Duran. Eric Morales Renteria. Jacob Avila Trejo. Marco A. Godinez Jr. Rhonda M. Stewart. Stephen C. Sosa. Lillian D. Cornejo. Alexis C. Smith. Christopher A. Martinez. Samantha R. Scott. Sharon Medina. Lizette Cabrales. Derek D. Moroquin. Oscar A. Gica. Lizbeth G. Lemus. Philip A. Jackson. Nicole M. Hamilton. Matthew McWilliams. Jorge A. Leon. John Leith M. Saba. Gael Mena Ruiz. Brandon B. Miller. Miguel A. Temple. Nilda S. Moran Mota. Kale Bakela. Amanda Armenta. Josue A. Salcido. Mohammed K. Yassin. Austin J. Danruther. Abraham Guzman. Osvaldo Montoya Cardenas. Alder O. Valencia. 
Fabio C. Cornejo. Riza Gonzalez. Darlene A. Taren. Jessica Coda. Jason J. Handen. Maritza C. Osorio. Katie M. Sosa Gonzalez. Alan J. Ocampo. Isaac Briones. Wyatt M. Bates. Joshua C. Pearson. Joseph Alexi. Kabir S. Suri. Eric Garcia. Mark A. Aguilar. Thomas A. Aguirre. Christopher P. Perez. Siggy Y. Gonzalez. Ali S. Albreki. Joseph Avila. Tammy Lindsay. Nathan B. Thompson. Ryan W. Graves. Adrian A. Aranda. Jessica Cobreros Flores. Paula E. Zelaya. Diana Mandragon Bonilla. Christian D. Alarcon. Erica C. Paz. Irene A. Hill. Montserrat A. Martinez. Anshul Venkatesh. Melanie C. Rodriguez. Kimberly C. Brown. Austin T. Carr. Marcos O. Rosales. Hildeberto Figueroa. Arturo Espinoza. Daisy A. Aceves. Giovanna F. Razo. Austin H. Ruelas. Ishmael A. Khan. Evelia Cabrera Huerta. Jose M. Torres Gonzalez. Ileana N. Garcia. Maria I. Granillo. Mohamed Hassanen. Gia M. Perez. Shane A. Paget. Bianca V. Olivas Guevara. Abdul Basit O. Babaloa. Tamara F. Glidden. Jordan C. Powell. James D. Brooks. Nathan Trin. Christian Gonzalez. Austin A. Shagnon. Raul E. Cruz. Sergio E. Soto. Dylan Gonzalez Vasquez. Braulio Luna. Eduardo Fuentes. Syra Y. Briseño. Clarence C. Corpus. Adamary Y. Lopez. Brandon Carey. Diana Samaniego. Ezra N. Ramos. Julia G. Ruiz. Karina Rodriguez. Bianca M. Coleman. David M. Cornejo. Katie N. Escobar. Isis D. Villegas. Gabriel F. Medell. Jorge A. Sarabia Islas. Summer Pan Prasai. Enrique Jimenez. Hunter J. Hudspeth. Luis G. Hernandez. Davis Adem. 
Gerardo Torres Gomez. Ladina Ann Saitong in Tapasut. Manuel Payan. Yvette Rentaria Areola. Gabriel Vega Gastelum. Jeremy Contreras. Abril R. Hernandez. Abdul Kadar M. Abueza. Natalie Inahosa. Christian A. Vargas. Angela Teo. Shamsvi Baluni Khan. Carly R. Orens. Ruth E. Menhivar. Ruben Benitez. Alexa D. Barajas. David Mark Diego Lazaro. Destiny N. Cabrera. Ronald A. Parada. Alan A. Alvarez. Sebastian Hinojosa. Skyler R. Diaz. Randy G. Sierra. Jacqueline M. Osuna. Javier R. Alfaro. DeAndrea R. Graves. Jacob S. Solano. Antonio M. Strang. Kyle N. Graham. Ashley M. Roche. Marcela A. Morelos. Nadia L. Fuentes. Alan R. Alvarez. Naomi C. Ruiz. Felix T. Vo. Desiree M. Gutierrez. Tyler T. Vo. Karina A. Gutierrez. Joshua C. Uwandu. Stephanie A. Lopez. Brian L. Manessis. Carla S. Cruz. Jasmine M. Whitehurst. Jose M. Ramirez, Jr. Jose M. Adame Lopez. Darian L. Trotter. Armando D. Nunez. Joshua A. Magana. Jesse Leon Alvarez. Tyler A. Barons. Eric E. Placencia. Josue E. Bautista. Federico D. Juarez. Diego J. Villa. Alejandro Arroyo. Elsa M. Carrillo. Jose Luis Diaz de Leon. Rosemary Lopez. Thomas R. Muir. Maya E. Jacobson. Jacob D. Foot. Leonardo Hurtado Morales. Alexander R. Devari. Alexis D. De La Cruz. Carlos D. Vejar. Hope E. Morales. Jose Bayo. Michael A. Serrano. Kevin Martinez. Alexander Martinez Gonzalez. Aaron L. Ramirez. Levante Dillon. Dillon W. Wilkiewicz. Jeffrey Becerra. Roberto Hernandez Flores. Jolie A. Vega. Gabrielle E. Corley. Joaquin I. Hernandez. Javier Oseguera Jr. Natalie J. Diaz. 
Onisim S. Olojanu. Yesenia E. Cuevas. Jonathan Martinez Roman. Amora Giabu. Stephen B. Escobar. Christina B. Marin. Amanda L. Valencia. Diego A. Marin. Jacqueline S. Reed. J. Kim. Tori J. Nance. Javier Lara Salas. Aaron B. Jones. Heidi Resendez. Alexis C. Gonzalez. Brittany Gomez. Stephanie Armienta. Yael D. Galicia Sanchez. Nicholas A. Cassiano. Ryan Figueroa. Aaron P. Anthony. Derek Dotson. Leslie E. Lopez. Josiah Rodriguez. Mohammed Omar Malikzada. Gabriel R. Holguin. Matthew Spencer. Jose A. Pena. Giovanni G. Solorio. David M. Ramirez Hernandez. Stephen A. Mandrina. Ian A. Rodriguez. Karam I. Dababina. Jose A. Berrigan. Genesis A. Vasquez. Ivy Granados. Tiana T. Sandoval. Bobby Nakasho. Istiake Ahmed Abid. Roberto Ramirez. Rochelle Dominguez. Edmar J. Bedoya Uyoa. Brittany L. Stokes. Indu Shri Guturu. Congratulations, graduates. You now join the ranks of this country's best and brightest for this next phase of your lives as you continue to innovate and participate. I urge you to remain engaged with your community, practice empathy and respect for others, and live out the values of diversity, 
equity, and inclusion in whatever you do. Because your innovation and your participation in the world of tomorrow will help to shape that world. Don't be afraid to grab a hold of the agency that each and every one of you possesses and help to build a better world. Know that this university, your alma mater, will always be a resource for you. For example, I encourage you to stay connected through our Alumni Association. CSUSB alumni can be a wonderful resource. You will find your fellow Coyotes all over the globe, wherever your career and life paths will take you. And you will also find them here at home. As I mentioned earlier, 74% of our alumni live in Riverside and San Bernardino counties. Yes, CSUSB alumni are actively building the future of the Inland Empire and of our nation and our world. Congratulations to Cal State San Bernardino Class of 2024. As our newest alumni, I wish each and every one of you your satisfaction, self-fulfillment, and success in all your future endeavors. All right, graduates, now that you are officially alumni, I invite you to join us in singing the alma mater, the text of which will be on the screens, and I expect everyone to sing. So please stand for our alma mater. Almost time for you to get reunited with your family and your families and friends. So before that, a little housekeeping. I ask that the audience please remain in their seats until the graduates have recessed. Family and friends may join the graduates for photographs on the south side of the building in lot D. Graduates, please remain in your rows until the marshals direct you to recess. Thank you all for coming out tonight. I'd now like to end this ceremony with a big cheer on the count of three. One, two, three.